three dead mule deer. Yeah. Three dead mule deer, four pilot. No, and then it said, then it said, mule deer. <laughs> So tell me what happened when you got in Las Vegas. Uh, we called the tower and I told them we had some four mule deer and they said, well, we'll send somebody out for you. And up came a meat wagon or ambulance. And the guys come out, took those mule deer down, and put, they, they had some weight things, they weighed them, tags in their ears, made sure we knew which each one was what, put them in the meat wagon, took them in and put them in a locker. Three days later, the weather got a little better. We said, let's go home to San Angelo. Out come the mule deer, loaded them back up. In the bomb bag? Got them God, you got treated like kings. <laughs> on the old airplanes, right here, on the leading edge, they have a thing, they had a thing called boots. Boots? They still have them. They aren't that prevalent anymore because yeah. they heat the wings now inside, and that keeps the ice from building up on the outside. Well, we didn't. We had boots. So I'm 24 years old, and I'm going to St. Louis, Missouri, with two students. And in weather, I'm putting lumber along the old airplane, and ice is building up. You look out there, and you see it. And you can see it building up in the air scoops, too. What airplane was this? Same thing, um, same airplane. B-25. So I didn't have enough experience to know. You turned them on too early. That I got, I got nervous, I admit it. And you turn them on too early. I pulled them too early. You uh, what did what did you pull too early? You pull a lever and you pull it, a lever. The it, boots. It pushes air into the boot. The, the boot expands and it's supposed to chip the ice off. But it's not gonna break the ice off if it's brand new ice. It hadn't got hard yet. It's soft ice. So now, so now, now it's now the boots are expanded and now they're full of ice. You let go of them, there's the ice is still there. Yeah. Can't break it off. More ice builds up, and you got a hole there. You can't turn them on too so, early. So I did all that. Now we get to St. Louis, and we, we were just lumbering along. I mean, we we're just barely flying with build up here and right here on these air scoops, the little square ones I told you about. Thing about them here, that wall long, really long and pointed, with ice was Where building up. Clear. Six more. Oh, it's just oh, Do you do this for real? Have a day. Maybe Carson did. No, I didn't. So we made, we made an approach in the weather, and we didn't break out. So we couldn't land, and it, and it had no power. Hardly to keep everybody. The old airplane was staggering like this. Hey, baby. Hey, Nora. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. We have this clean little room. Isn't it a wonderful room? Yeah, it's nice. Oh, yeah, nice. It is. It is a little place to hang out. So, you landed with the ice on the wing, didn't you? We stacked it. In those days, they had, everybody had a big antenna on their house. And uh, we were right, just like flipping them, you know, like. You were that low? We, yeah, we couldn't go any higher. We didn't have any power. How, how tall are the antennas off the roof? Oh, 30, 20 feet, maybe. You were so low that you were clipping antennas. Well, on 20 top foot. of the houses. It hit the house. What were, you, what were you trying to land to, on the runway? Yeah. Just trying to get through the runway. So we, we stagger around a pattern like this and come back around. This time we saw a runway light. Put that sucker on my all the ice started falling off and we were safe. In the meantime, the crew chief, and I'm not, I'm not exaggerating this, he was, by the seat. He was yeah. between those two seats, just hit one. The poor kid, when he got out, there was nothing left. There was no nails. They were gone. I called the doc. <laughs> called the doc. Yeah, and the first thing he did, <clears throat> got on the ground and Crying and kissing the ground, and fingers were bleeding. Yeah. Now I'm a second lieutenant. I, I'm a dumb shit kid. I don't know nothing, you know, to anybody. Second lieutenants are treated like you're a rookie on the fire, you know. Yeah. So here comes this damn young ass guy out. He's the air drum officer, and he marches up and says, "Lieutenant, what the hell do you think you've been doing? I've been getting complaints about you." Ruining everybody's TV. <laughs> I never wanted to smash a guy so much. Uh, here I am, I'm lucky to be alive. These guys are lucky to be alive. 
he's telling me I screwed up some TV. TV. Yeah. Did I care? <laughs> Shit. You didn't hit a house. You just hit some antenna. Shit. Some of the hazards of flying old. 